is good everybody welcome to an epic my of toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some more wwe action figure news not only just wwe action figure news but wwe elite action figure news as we have a couple wwe elite figure lineups already leaked if you guys missed our video from yesterday we leaked a basic series it was basic series 111 and a couple other elite figures that are coming very soon at the end of the year or later on in the year so definitely go check out yesterday's video if you missed that but today we're getting into two upcoming elite Elite WWE figure lines, not only Elite Series 79, but WWE Elite Series 80 as well. So in the future, we already know what 76 is. We've already received those figures. 77 as well is coming very soon with The Fiend. We have 78 already that we've looked at. And then, of course, today we're taking a look at Series 79 and 80, which I'm very excited about. Before we dive in, I do want to give a huge shout out to Jackson Ray YT on Instagram because he is what uh, he is the one that brought this to my attention. And I did want to give him credit because uh, he brought it to my attention first and I do want to give that kid credit so huge shout out to Jackson Ray there and then I also want to give a huge shout out to ultimate underscore figure underscore collector for posting these and allowing them to be shared so that was just the first person I saw so if they weren't the first I just wanted to give credit to somebody because I was not responsible for these leaks so let's go ahead and dive in guys Elite Series 79 let's take a look at it putting it up on your screen let's look at it it says WWE Mattel Elite Series Elite Series I don't know what that's about but Elite Series 79 WWE Mattel Tell Elite Series 79, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Io Shirai, Big E, Xavier Woods, and Bobby Fish. Now, I have mixed feelings about this lineup, guys. I think that we have mixed feelings. Now, obviously, Elite Series 78 is going to feature Kofi Kingston. We know that Kofi Kingston's in that lineup. Randy Orton, Matt Riddle. I think Naomi's a part of that line. It's a pretty solid wave coming in Elite Series 78. Our truth is a part of that line. And I think Drake Maverick is the last figure in that line, or I could be missing one or two. Any, any, anyways, let's dive in here. We know that Big E and Xavier Woods are probably going to be in the matching gear that goes with that Kofi Kingston from Elite Series 78. I'm sure that Big E or Xavier will come with pancakes as well as their entrance vest, and probably one of them will come with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, since I do believe Elite Series 78 Kofi also comes with the SmackDown Tag Title. So both of those should come with the SmackDown Tag Title, not Xavier and Big E, but Kofi and one of these two guys. So Big E and Xavier Woods should be pretty cool. I love the gear that Kofi's wearing. I think that'll be excellent. Moving on to Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns is difficult, man, because we do know that we're getting a top talents Roman Reigns, but it is the exact same figure that we got last year with the Elite Series 68 Roman Reigns. So I do not know what best this will be. I'll put up some suggestions maybe on the screen so you guys can look at that. But honestly, it's difficult to say. You know, we did get a, we finally got a man bun Roman Reigns. I think it'd be cool to get like a shirtless Roman Reigns or like a promo attire Roman Reigns with like bare arms with all of his tattoo work and then maybe like a man bun head sculpt uh, updated maybe or possibly I don't know something different maybe not just a new vest or something like that but I do know they like to keep Roman on the shelf because he's a good seller he's like Braun and Cena and AJ Styles guys like that that they want to pump out every other series so that we can get these figures in here but Roman Reigns I do not know what he will be wearing Daniel Bryan is also difficult you know we did get his uh, what gear was that didn't we get his maybe it'll be his I don't even know I'll put up some more suggestions I, I really don't know nothing is coming to mind. I feel like his uh, Planet's Champion Elite 73 figure was pretty updated. Obviously, he is a babyface again now. So maybe they'll, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll put up some suggestions on there. Maybe WrestleMania 35. I can't remember what he wore there. I don't think that was the Elite 73 figure. So maybe we could get his WrestleMania 35 attire where he took on Kofi. Um, we also have Io Shirai. And I don't know a lot of her attires. Nothing stands out to me. But I'm sure this figure will be bomb. And I, I love that they're putting one women's figure in every Elite series. Because with the updated double jointed knees, they have just been knocking it out. It, it started all the way back at what? Elite Series 72. And every single series, that have, they have put a woman in there. And they have have rocked. Every single figure that has released since Elite Series 72 with the Becky Lynch. After that, we got Elite Series 73 Kyrie Sane. After that, we got 74 Natalia. After that, we got 75 Mandy Rose. After that, we got 76 Lacey Evans. And then we're going to get the Miss Elizabeth with 77. Not a current talent, but still a really good women's figure with the double jointed knees. So I really love that they're doing that every series. I think that's awesome because these women's figures are a lot better than they used to be. It's so freaking sick to uh, you know get rid of those old basics that can't really move around as well. So that's really nice to see. And then the final figure in the set is Bobby Fish, and this is obviously going to be our second Bobby Fish. The first Bobby Fish that we got was the Epic Moments Bobby Fish that came with the Epic Moments Undisputed Era 3-pack, which was a beautiful figure. I think all three figures in that set were great. And one thing that I think is probable is possibly going to be matching Elite 72 Roderick Strong. That's what I would guess. So I guess we're going to have our Roderick Strong in the War Games attire. Bobby Fish would also be in the War Games attire, which makes me wonder why Elite Series 71 Adam Cole 
was not in the War Games attire. I don't know. That's a little bit weird to me. Let me know down in the comment section below. If it's not the War Games attire, then we're going to have Elite 71 Adam Cole, Elite 72 Roderick, and Bobby Fish all mixed and matched. It's going to be really, really weird. So, um... After that, guys, that is pretty much the full set. Let me know what you think of Elite Series 79 down in the comment section below. Really, I, I don't know. It's kind of, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, yeah, I don't know. A lot of re-releases in this set besides Io Shirai. She's the first, fi or she's the only figure in this thing that is a newer figure. The rest of the set is pretty much re-releases, so let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But let's dive into Elite Series 80 before we move any further. So diving into Elite Series 80, guys, it says WWE Mattel Elite Series 80 here, and it has revealed itself. It says Ricochet, Kevin Owens, Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar, Bailey and Kyle O'Reilly. Now, this is very interesting to me. Well, first of all, let's start off with the Viking Raiders. We already knew we were getting Viking Raiders figures. We took a look at them yesterday. So, Elite 80 Viking Raiders are great. I'm so glad they're finally getting figures. We talked about that yesterday. Just, it, it was forever, man. We waited forever on those figures and they're finally coming. So, I'm super excited for the Viking Raiders. They look great. The render images look great. And I'm not going to spend too much time on them, but they look phenomenal. And I'm excited for Elite 80 with the Viking Raiders. Let's move on to Ricochet. Now, Ricochet, we do know that we this will be our fourth Elite Ricochet, which is kind of crazy. We had the, what, Elite 69. We had the Network Spotlight. And then later on this year, I think in the summer, we are getting the Top Talents 2020 Ricochet in the silver attire. So all three of these figures will look great. But um, they all three have the same head sculpt, which is kind of crazy. They all three have that height problem. And I'm very interested to see which attire they go for for the Ricochet. I'm imagining that it'll probably be his red attire, possibly, or maybe the Royal Rumble. 2020 edition where he took on or where you know he hit uh, Brock Lesnar in the gonads possibly I don't know it could be maybe I don't know I guess we'll just have to see about that we have gotten his Nightwing attire in basic form so maybe they'll release a you know comic book inspired or anime inspired ricochet for the elite line I'm not sure what they can do as far as copyright and trademarks and likeness and stuff like that but we'll have to see but I am excited to get another ricochet I think it's great I love his figure so that'll be cool we have my boy Kevin Owens who was revealed in the basic series 111 set and I'm guessing the Basic Series 111 Kevin Owens and this Elite 80 Kevin Owens will both have the same exact head sculpt. And I am guessing that this will be an updated Kevin Owens. So hopefully longer, thicker beard, nice faded haircut updated tattoos all over possibly white wrist tape it could be the stun owen stun shirt or it could be something else that's what i would probably guess if i had to guesstimate on what figure or attire that it will be for kevin owens but i'm excited to have a new kevin owens it's been 14 series since we got one we haven't gotten any in any other sets you know no special sets here and there it has just been the main elite line that we have been seeing these kevin owens figures i'm pretty sure so i am excited about that and then we have Bailey, who I'm excited for. Again, another women's figure, another updated figure that can replace an older Bailey in our collection. The last elite Bailey that I have is the Network Spotlight from like four years ago. So I think I don't think she's had another elite besides that. Um, I don't think. Oh yeah, the NXT series maybe with the blue gear. I think when what was that NXT series number one Target exclusive. So that was a long time ago too. So it's very it's definitely about time for a Bailey elite, and I'm sure it'll have the gold and black attire. Women's Championship, shorter haircut is what I would guesstimate for her as well. So that will be a really awesome figure. I'm excited to see the double jointed knees for that. And it's just so sick, man. See, like I have my women's shelf up here. And every single time we get a new figure or a new woman, I can replace that older basic that's not as good with the new Elite. And it's just so gratifying to know that the figures are getting better and better. And they can actually be posed around. I'm just waiting on that ankle pivot. That's the only thing we're waiting on. We get that, Brad. It's going to be over with. But let's move on to the last figure in the set, guys. Kyle O'Reilly. You guys knew we were getting Bobby Fish. We're getting Kyle O'Reilly right here. And the only thing that makes sense for this is to have them all in the Undisputed Era War Games attire with the camo, with the yellow, with the black. Match our Roddy Strongs from Elite 72. Match our Bobby Fish from Elite 79. And match our Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly. All coming together, War Games attire. And I don't know if they're going to do a, you know, the, the only thing that worries me is because you guys remember the Fan Central Takeover line or whatever. Adam Cole's War Game attire did not win the vote, I don't think, so I don't know what they're doing there. I guess they're gonna make it later, or maybe none of them will be in the War Games attire, and they just did that for Roderick Strong, but it wouldn't really make sense to have your Undisputed Era up on your shelf in non-matching gear. That just wouldn't make sense to me. But I'm not sure. I'm just happy to have a new Kyle O'Reilly. I'm sure that all three of them will have, uh, or not all three of them, we don't have an Adam Cole just yet, but 
I think that Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish should have updated head sculpts, even though their last head sculpts were good, so it's going to be kind of crazy to see how they update them. I think Bobby Fish's was perfect. Kyle O'Reilly could have probably done better with likeness, but it was still pretty spot on. Adam Coles are always good as well, so I'm, I'm excited to see what they do to improve the Kyle O'Reilly head sculpt, but out of all these figures, I do not know the Chase variants. I'm sure you guys are wondering what the Chase variants will be for Elite Series 79 and 80, and if I had to make a guess, I don't think that elite unless they d yeah that won't work so I, I don't know honestly i could see daniel bryan or roman reigns getting the chase variant for elite 79 unless they do something where they make bobby fish the chase variant and his chase variant is the the war games attire and then they do the same thing for kyle o'reilly possibly i'm not sure and then for elite 80 i would probably guess kevin owens or ricochet would be the chase variant i, I, I you know they're not going to do the new day for elite 79 they're not going to do the Viking Raiders for Elite 80. They would probably do a single star, or they would do the tag teams that are separated in each set. So I would guess that they would either do Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly together, or they would probably do Ricochet or KO, or they would do Roman or Daniel Bryan. Um, they could do the women. You know, it's possible to do the women, but I don't know how well Nikki Bella did back in that one series, Elite 71, with the Chase variant. I feel like that was a pretty big dud as far as Chase variants go. So maybe... Roman Reigns in two different vests or Daniel Bryan in two different, you know, styles of his of his attire. I'm not sure, man. I guess we'll just have to find out. I don't have any Chase variant news on that just yet, but once I do know and everything like that, I will let you guys uh, in on that and let you guys know what the Chase variants are. Let me know what you think down below on the Chase variants. Who would you like to see? I think Ricochet or Kevin Owens would be my pick for Elite 80, and if I was doing Elite 79, I'd probably pick Daniel Bryan just because I, I, I like Daniel Bryan's figures, and I think a Chase variant for him would be pretty cool and to see, you know, two different styles of his attire and stuff like that, but I'm getting out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of all the news down below. Which series is better to you, 79 or 80? Let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Comment down below what you think of all the figures. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.